Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And look, yarn. Yes. We're set up for shows, so we decided we'd <laughs> podcast in front of the yarn. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had a couple people who were commenting on our mugs. William Sonoma. That's where they came from. They're gorgeous. Yes. And they're great. The handle is fantastic for holding. Mm -hmm. It's really a good handle. So also, um, I said to Helen, I think we have to go back and watch yesterday's episode because evidently Tabitha stole the show <laughs> and we didn't even realize it. Making comments behind your shoulder. I know. She had very definite comments on my brioche. Uh, sister number three actually put it up in um, Crafting with the Toads on Facebook. So thank you very much, Tabitha. There's no table behind me this time, so you can't do it. <laughs> She hasn't even figured out. Oh, wait. Here she comes. <coughs> we, uh, in this house, podcast means certain things like treats for dogs and that kind of thing. So we say we're going to podcast. Everybody always goes to the room where we podcast when we say we're going to podcast. So everybody went running off today and I had to convince two miscreants to come downstairs with us. Right. With their treats. And Tabitha just figured it out. Okay. So my body is not happy with me right now. <laughs> After a year of being inside, away from everybody, I have decided to vaccinate it and actually think about the fact that we may be doing things in person and I want to be able to move without groaning. So <laughs> we took it on a walk this morning. <laughs> we put it on a leash and we took it for a walk. Not at all happy. A lot happened to it this week. Right. It's just like, it's wait just, a minute. All at once, you have really, to leave. I really liked being a slug. Could I just stay being a slug? Can we go back to the chair, please? The comfy chair. Can we bring the COVID back? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, we had a comment yesterday from Darla Pees looking for crochet patterns for um, a single color. And there are a whole bunch of them out there. So I'm not sure um, how well versed you are with Ravelry in searching but um, we thought we'd show you how we got to it. So what I did was, and I went into the patterns page and then I put in search patterns and I searched shawl. And it brings me up 95,000 different options. So then this blue bar right here is the filter bar. I'm going to filter these results, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to filter by craft. And I'm going to put in crochet. And then a little bit further down, I'm going to put, there's one that says colors. And I'm going to put in one. And that brings me down to 8,422 different cho choices. And just scrolling through this, one of the first ones I saw was a shawl for Rachel, which is really pretty. So there's that one. This one is the pop-up shawl. That's beautiful. That can be done in one color. Um, and then the, uh, here, there is this one. This is Shawl Mimosa, which I thought was really, really pretty. The thing is, if you're trying to do it with one skein of fingering weight yarn, just one skein and one color, um, you can uh, search by yardage as well. But with crochet, crochet eats so much yarn that you're going to get a very small shawlette. Right. You can find something, but your choices go way down because it's going to be very small. Um, but if you have two skeins... Um, or even like, you know, like a skein and a half or something. Once you get to 450, 500 yards, you're getting into slightly larger territory. Right. Um, so, and the other thing is, if you have a shawl that you love that calls for more than one color, you do not have to follow those instructions. You can always do it in just one color. Remember, this is your project and you can do it the way you want right. to do it. So the same way Helen is making her boho blush three different colors, it calls for one color but she has chosen to be a rebel and go three colors. Usually that's me, but she decided to be the rebel this time. So, um, so yes, 
I think searching Ravelry is the best way to right. do it because then you can flick through and find the one that really works for you. And the other thing is, is Mary Beth showing you on her phone. It looks slightly different when you're doing it on your ta on a tablet or uh, your um, computer. All the filtering choices are going to be on the left hand side. Right. So if you look on the left hand side, it just it takes a little. Just go into the main pattern page. Um, and put in shawl in the search right. so that you're dealing with shawls. And then over on the left-hand side will be all the different filters that you can use. And you can filter out colors. And um, the first thing to do is make a crochet. So the first thing you want to do is find the craft and make that crochet. And you can also search um, along the, if you do the advanced search, when you go to patterns, uh, underneath the search bar it says advanced search. So hit that. And instead of putting the word shawl in, you can also, um, under accessories, it'll say accessories. And then I think it's and neck. Then, then it's neck and then shawl. So it's all, all along the left-hand side. So um, it's, there's play with all the search options. Because yes. it's, it's really, you can really narrow down your Hone focus. in and on right. exactly what you want. Yep. I want one that is this color blue. <laughs> well, I don't know whether you can do that, but you can do it to just blue right. if you want. So yeah. Okay, so there's that. And then we thought today um, we are going to be, well, we had our first knit and escape um, vendor, quick vendor session yesterday. Yeah. And that went very well. So thank you very much to everybody who came. Uh, we do want to let you know that we are going to be playing party games at our next vendor session. So if you missed last night's, but you're planning to come to our next one, it is Friday from 7 to 8 p.m. And we have a whole bunch of party games that we're going to be playing. Right. So we hope you will come and join us. But you do have to pay to become a part of Knit and Escape. Right. Um, but we thought today what we would do is... Um, we're going to do an unboxing of our March's Mystery Yarn. So if you haven't gotten your March's Mystery Yarn, turn it off now, come back, and you can watch it afterwards after right. you've gotten it. But for... Um, Just about everybody should have gotten it. There's one person I know you did not get your second one. Right. Um, but that's on the way. Right. So. Hi. It knows I want to do something, so it's here making up to me. <laughs> it. It. She doesn't even deserve a certain uh, pronoun. All right, so here we have our box. So March's Mystery Yarn came in our new packaging, our Toad Hollow box. In case you haven't gotten one yet, this is what it looks like. It says, goodies from the hollow. What could be better? Oh, happy mail. Helen had such a good time making this. <laughs> Today is a good day. And quick, open me now. So do you want to tell them how we came up with the plan for this year, this month's yarn? Because this was your idea. Oh, sure. Um, well, Mary, you picked the color that you wanted to bring back. We brought back an old color from one of our, our very first mysteries. Yes. Club, right? Yep. Very first. Um, well, I be so I based it around the color, um, and so, okay, so show them. All right, so when you open your box, you have very pretty butterfly paper that you can then use again. We um, tried not to tape it or anything. I know I taped one of the first couple, but um, we tried not to tape it after that so that you could reuse it. So it's all part of the packaging. And then um, inside... Oh, there is a hint on the outside of the package with the Make-A-Wish. Right. It just says wish. Right. And then inside, you get a tag that says, close your eyes and wish. You get a letter that's sealed with a brass lamp. One might call it a genie lamp. And for those of you that know, this is the silhouette. This is the skyline of Agrabah. And in it, we explain exactly why we chose this pattern and or why we chose this theme and everything. And then you get some stickers that you can use. And all of these have to do with making a wish, like blowing on a dandelion, wishing, rubbing, on, a star. wishing on a star, throwing a penny in the wishing well, finding a fairy, or, you know, rubbing the lamp and getting a genie. 
And then you get a packet of wish paper and there are three wishes for you to do on your wish paper. And inside has the wish paper. Expand on the wishing for more wishes. Right. Inside it has um, the card that you need. It's got your wishes. It's got the instruction manual on how to do it. So everything goes around making wishes. So then our yarn that we decided to bring back. Ready? Ready. Okay. This is Agrabah. So we originally did it for our uh, Mystical Places yarn. We went to, well, no, it wasn't Mystical. It was um, Places and Books. Right. Destinations and Books that you could go to. Um, and this was one of them because we thought 101 um, Arabian Nights or 1001 Arabian Nights? Arabian Nights. Um, but the story of Aladdin um, had the Agrabah, so we decided we'd do the marketplace at Agrabah. Amazing. Arabian night. Yeah. And then for heels and toes, we came up with a really, really pretty bluish teal. So there you go. So it's got the peachy, sandy color for the sands. Then you've got the reddish sandstone for the be uh, the buildings, and there are flecks of um, green for the oasis and brown for the darker sand. And then a little bit of gold for the gold. So. Agrabah and wishes. That was the mystery sock set this month. Okay. So if you would like to be a part of our mystery sock sets, April's uh, signups are still open. We close them in and around the 15th of the month. Um, so you can join and you don't have to join at the beginning of the year and then it's closed. It's every month we open it up for new people to join. Um, and you can opt in and out as you choose. Right. So, so if you'd like to come and join us, we have next month's theme picked out. We know exactly what we're doing and we're really kind of excited about it. Yeah. Cause surprise, you know surprise. us. <laughs> Okay, um, one last thing. I am wearing my Brunswick tee done in Lucy and Acorn. Thought I'd mention that since I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing something that I knit. So okay. there you go. Look at you. All right. Okay, so we have to get going. We hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Go forth and create. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Tabitha's tail says goodbye. Yes. Very expressive tail. Goodbye.